from Tampa Bay streaming news leader. This is ABC Action News. Hello and good morning. I'm James Tully. Go Rays. Greg D has a look at your full weather forecast coming up before we talk some baseball. Let's get you your ABC Action News headlines. We start with this. A family in Lithia is asking for tips after they say a driver hit a man out on a morning jog but never stopped. It happened last Monday. Jeremy Sperlin says he was jogging near the sidewalk along Dorman Road in his Fishhawk Ranch neighborhood. It says a driver jumped the curb, struck him from behind. He rolled over the hood, suffered a concussion and several cuts and bruises. If they're listening, if they know, I wish you would stop. You know, it's always better to do the right thing, even if it's hard, right? Because I could have been laying there bleeding out, dying for all they knew. He only remembers seeing a dark colored sedan take off. He says neighbors have sent surveillance video to the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office and hopes it holds some potential clues. New information this morning about this depression shutting down part of a Newport Ritchie Road, Pasco County. Officials say it's planning to do more underground testing before they decide what to do about this hole, if anything. We're told results from the weekend show two small areas where soils disturbed. So the next step is for engineers to perform some deeper ground penetrating radar tests. This depression is around 46 feet wide, 130 feet deep. One lane of Little, Cro Little Road is still closed down. Happening today, if you live in Hillsborough County and are looking for work, there's a virtual job fair to help you out. Nearly 900 openings are up for grabs. Starting at 9 o'clock, there are different times for different industries. We've posted all this information for you on our website. It is hosted by CareerSource Tampa Bay. There are jobs available in customer service, manufacturing, and financial services. Turning now to election 2020, the Florida Secretary of State now says more than 1.7 million vote-by-mail ballots have been returned so far. Almost 4 million more ballots have been mailed out but not yet returned. That puts Florida on pace to exceed the total number of vote-by-mail ballots cast in both the 2018 and 2016 elections. The deadline to request a vote-by-mail ballot is coming up. It'll be next Saturday, the 24th. Early voting begins on Monday. We have all the deadlines you need to know about and a look at candidate profiles on abcactionnews.com slash guy. Tampa Bay Rays, they are one win from the World Series. They're now up on the Houston Astros, three games to none in the ALCS. They'll try and wrap it up tonight, Greg. Rays up, James. I could not believe it when I saw that score. Could they really put them away that quickly? That would be amazing. Temperatures out there in the upper 80s to around 90 this afternoon. The difference over yesterday, offshore flow, so there's not going to be much of a sea breeze. And there is going to be humidity, so that 90 is going to feel more like the mid-90s by later today. We are looking at drier air arriving just in time for the weekend. Check it out in our app.